I'm uh, doing the other piece right now. I won't show it because it's just like doing that piece. Uh, different measurements only by a little bit because it's, it's all hand done. Okay, I got all the uh, side pieces uh, tacked and sometimes welded on. Now I'm going to go go around it and put some more uh, weld metal on there. And uh, that'll finish that piece out. Then I'll move on to uh, probably the, uh, uh, the feet. By uh, sitting the... Uh, to stand upright on this uh, flat surface and seeing which sides wiggled and then grinding down the high sides. Uh, managed to do it in the first try without having to go around a couple of times. I got it reasonably, reasonably stable. Uh, not so sure if it's level. I didn't really care about that. Now I uh, go saw some uh, quarter inch plate uh, to act as feet so you can use it on concrete without uh, without digging up holes with these uh, these sharp edges on the, on the uh, angle irons here. This is the uh, the setup for cutting the uh, the plate for the uh, the feet of the uh, of the vice stand. It's gonna take a while for each cut. And I got to do, I guess, so one, two, three more cuts. I love that saw. <laughs> Boy, I used to have to do that by hand or using my saber saw. And it just, boy, what a labor saver. I mean, I, I'll tackle big old projects now because of it. Wow, all four of those took, uh, that must have taken an hour. Well, they're done now in four parts. Do a little uh, machining on them. Uh, maybe I'll put a, uh, a bolt hole in them in case I want leveling bolts in there. Maybe I won't. Sit them right here. Sit them right there and I know where I can find them tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow's another day. What could be more uh, appropriate than actually using the vice stand to help uh, finish the vice stand? So I'm just... Uh, knocking the burrs off the uh, the future uh, feet uh, which will be welded on down there <clears throat> and maybe you notice my foot I kind of locked it against the, uh, the leg here that'll uh, it kind of tells me where I'm going to have to put the, uh, the foot brace that I plan to uh, install on it on here and that when you file you have a place to rest your foot and hold the damn thing steady so Anyway, quick practice. Now I have to uh, now I have to put them in uh, sideways here and uh, get the grinder out and grind them shiny so they're easier to weld. Isn't this a great stand? I mean, everything just fits right in it. It's right there, grinding height. Oh, I'm tickled. As you can see, I've uh, got the feet uh, on this flat surface. And then I've sitting, uh, sat the uh, stand on top of them. Um, there's a couple of little gaps in there. When, when I weld, that'll, of course, it'll be flat. And hopefully, hopefully the thing will uh, sit, uh, sit flat when I use it. But uh, no bet. Also, you can see I uh, drilled a uh, uh, hole with 3 8 inch clearance. That's probably a 30 second over in all the... Uh, in all four of the uh, pads. I have no planned use for those uh, right now, but uh, easier to uh, easier to drill them now than uh, try to drill them when they're on the stand. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna 
do some welding and I won't show it because I don't think it'll show up well. Maybe I'll try it. Let's see what happens. I got my welding fire hose right over there in case. And I got my, my heavy shoes on for welding. I got the little feet on and I'm quite pleased with the, uh, it's quite steady, I think I got it fairly square, and uh, it's actually just hard to move uh, by itself without putting any pressure on it. I still want to get a little uh, bar across here that when I kind of stand like this when I, uh, when I hit, hit it real hard so I can hold it steady. But I'm quite pleased with uh, quite pleased with the way it's working out. Anyway, I guess the uh, uh, next project will be to get the uh, get the little shelf in there, or maybe weld the end pieces on. I want to weld weld an end piece on here to make it stronger. Uh, it'll probably have some holes in it for uh, for bolting uh, bolting things upright. Uh, maybe some half inch uh, 13 uh, tap holes. Clear. Well, this is my uh, workstation here in the garage, and I'm actually um, editing the last part of this video. I had to make this end to, uh, to tie, kind of tie it all together after that um, half body shot, the last shot. So uh, I'm using uh, Adobe Pre Premiere Elements uh, uh, number seven, and uh, I guess I got maybe. Uh, this is taking three hours to uh, make. I just threw an extra uh, uh, gigabyte of memory into this computer. I was having a couple of problems with it installing out on me. It wasn't rendering the files so I could edit them. So it, it's helped a lot. Uh, you need a lot of memory and a lot of uh, computer power to do this uh, high, uh, high definition stuff. So uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be worth uh, watching. All right, I've been uh, editing this file for uh, this uh, video for uh, okay, take three. I've been editing uh, this video for probably a couple of hours now using Adobe Premiere Element Seven, which I purchased a couple of weeks ago. I just added a gig of memory, a total of uh, two gigabytes in this uh, machine. It's nice being able to. Uh, do something, do a project, a uh, video it, and without leaving the garage, uh, sit down and, and see how it looks and, and stitch it together. Uh, it really helps with uh, with continuity because uh, sometimes I don't plan my projects all the way through, and it makes it hard if you haven't planned the project to uh, to plan the video, which depends on the project. So uh, um, I'm getting better at planning the projects and planning the videos. It kind of goes together, folks. <laughs>